Hello, today I'm going to show you how to wire up a network patch panel and how to operate the cron punch tool that is being used for a telecommunication and networking connectors. This is the Rack 19 panel with a CAT 6. I also have got a unshielded twisted pair computer wire. If you take a look at the front, we've got a female RJ47 sockets, the 8P8C. And on the back, we've got our terminal blocks that are very interesting and very nice to work with. And that's because, as you can see, there is a no screw. You just slide wire with the insulation on and sharp blades that are inside are going to pierce the insulation and they are going to make connections. So it is extremely easy to do and you can always undo it by using tool like this. You can grab the wire, I'm going to show you that in a second, and you can easily read on that if you've got any problems. The first thing that you need to do with a cron punch tool is to disengage the safety lock that will allow a travel of that element. Here is a knife that is, looks a little bit like a scissors and the goal of that wire is to cut excess of the wire that is going to be sticking out of the, from the port. And you are going to align your tool like this and you are going to nicely push it. And as you can see, you've got that movement. Here is from the other angle, the scissors are always pointing outward and cutting excess. And this is the movement that you are going to be doing, just like that. Now I'm going to show you how to wire it correctly. On bottom you've got a port number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and so on. And that's corresponding to the port number. And if you would like to wire port number 1, then you are interested in four top terminal blocks and four bottom terminal blocks. If you would like to wire port number 2, then you go with a four top and four bottom and so on. Port number three and port number four. So you are going to be always using four top, four bottom for a single port. This is another port. Here is our wire. I'm going to remove the center plastic thing. I will remove the string and I'm going to untwist our wires. The best way is to not do that completely, just as much as you need because you are risking having a electromagnetic interference. They are designed to be twisted and cancelling the noise. Now I'm going to show you how to read the pictogram. As you can see, it's being divided into A and B, A and B. A and B are standards for wiring our plugs. In general, for all networking equipment, you are going to follow the B standard. From like past 20 years, all networking equipment have capability of self-crossing the wiring, but in a very, very rare occasion, you can wire one plug in a A and second plug in a B and you are going to get a cross cable. But we are going to always wire a straight cable that is going to have a B plug on one end and the big plug on the second end. So you are going to follow exactly the same standard. Since we know that we are going to be using four top terminals and four bottoms. If you take a look at our B wiring, we've got it divided into blue, white blue, green, white green. 
then here on our B we are going to have a brown, white brown, orange, orange white and that's corresponding to the wires that you are going to be sliding into the corresponding slots. So the blue is going to go into the first terminal block, white blue into the second one, green into third, white green into fourth. And on the bottom part, brown to the first, white brown to the second, orange to the third, white orange to the fourth. Now we are going to connect our wires, so the color code First is going to be blue, I grab our blue and I nicely slide it like this. We grab our punch tool, making sure the safety is engaged. The cutting part is going to grab end of the wire, just like that. And we are going to press firmly. And as you can see, the wire was cut and it fly away. We are taking a look, the another wire is going to be white blue, so we grab our white blue, we slide it to the next and we are going to repeat our process. Maybe I will change the angle and it was nicely cut. Another one is going to be solid green, so we grab our solid green to the another port, we're sliding it nicely, we grab our punch tool, we go like this and we firmly press and it's cut. Then the last one on the draw, white green, we go like this and we are going to repeat our process. As you can see it's looking absolutely beautiful. Then we go with the bottom part. The first one on the B wiring is going to be brown and then white brown. So we go like this. Here goes our brown. Like this. White brown. Just like that. Then we've got orange and white orange. So solid orange go here. We grab our punch tool. We go like this and nicely cut. And another one. And very nicely done. As you can see, it's looking absolutely beautiful and this is our port number one. Another four is going to be port number two and the bottom one. So let's do that. We are repeating the same process, blue, white, blue. I'm grabbing the blue, go into the slot. Just like that, we're grabbing our punch tool, knife on the outside, and it was nicely cut. Then we've got a white blue, just like that. We grab our punch tool, nicely cut, green, and the white green. So let me and twist it a little bit. We go with the green. Just like that. Our punch tool. And here we've got the top part. We go to the bottom. So we are going to grab the brown and the white brown. So we go like this, this is going to be our brown, so we are repeating the exactly same colors that we've got on the first slot. 
just like that. The white brown. The orange. And the white orange. And as you can see, we nicely wire our two first ports and you can afterward zip them down and nicely route in your cabinet. If you found out that you make mistake, then you can use the hook that is included in your tool. And as you can see, you've got that hook. You put it very close to the terminal block, just like that. And you pull very easy, very nice. You go like this and they are nicely out. And if you want to redo it, then no problem. You can make it happen. And you are being done. I'm pretty sure that this is not a 100% correct way and it's not going to pass a very critical test in some data center. But for my home networking, that is going to be a 100% okay. So this is how you wire your patch panel using the cron punch tool. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it interesting. See you next time and bye bye.